as a country music band once sang. God blessed Texas with his own hand, and that is no exception in the Piney Woods of East Texas. Once again, we have returned to the Texas State Railroad for the opening weekend of steam-powered passenger trips. The 282 Mikado No. 30 has been fired up and prepped for the day's round trip from Palestine to Rusk. With several locomotives on display in what TSRR calls the Hall of Giants, crowds are able to take a look at these historic machines before climbing aboard the train for the day. Along with the locomotives, we were also treated with a surprise guest in the form of Clarabelle. This is a 1924 Ford Ton truck that has been restored as an American Railway Express delivery truck. With a four-cylinder engine that can put out a top speed of 25 miles an hour and 20 horsepower, this old gem adds so much to the already rich environment at the Texas State Railroad. is seen here making its way to the depot to begin boarding procedures. As always, this locomotive put on an excellent show for both passengers and all the rail fans taking pictures. With the passengers boarding and the scheduled departure out of Palestine at 11 a.m., we were told that the Clarabelle would be posing for photos at the Dean Wright Crossing. We could not pass up the opportunity to get these two side by side. With our little photo shoot complete, the chase was on. Enjoy these clips of pure steam power echoing throughout these piney woods.
closing in on the destination of Rusk, our trusty Mikado locomotive is seen steaming by the Maydell Depot. This is one of my personal favorite spots on the line. Just before the Rust Depot at the Oakland Crossing, it may not be eye-catching when it comes to scenery, but this spot is the perfect place to film steam working hard as it climbs the steep grade. The audio here is among the best I've ever recorded. Arriving in Rusk, the passengers will hop off and enjoy a layover with a picnic lunch included. If you're a fast eater such as myself, you can also browse through the many exhibits and artifacts inside the depot. Here we see the number 30 easing to a stop. After stopping, the crews make a quick inspection of the locomotive, before detaching and heading for the Rusk shops for further servicing and the crew's lunch break. We were invited to join the crews to the shops to take a look at the behind the scenes of the Texas State Railroad. We took a look inside their shop where their second F unit is nearing completion, along with other projects such as SPL Co. 280 Consolidation Number 28. Number 30 is seen here easing back to the shops where servicing can begin. I gotta say, it is a blast watching this in person and I cannot give enough thanks to the guys here for the invitation.
After our fantastic time at the shops, we stopped by a convenience store to grab an ice cold Dr. Pepper and the biggest size cup they had before meeting back with our train heading back to Palestine. Unfortunately for these horses, their peace and quiet was about to be abrupted by the iron horse as it turns up the throttle to make some decent speed. Here we see the former Tremont and Gulf locomotive heading past the Dean Wright crossing on its final stretch to Palestine. This clip was actually taken the previous year and I just forgot to include it in the video. Ironic considering this was a spot we desperately wanted to include. So I figured I may as well share it now. Better late than never I guess. Arrived in Palestine, the whistle was sounded to signal passengers may now disembark. Now most of them will go on and head home, but the rail fans will stick around to see the always spectacular sight of number 30 shoving the mighty Texas and Pacific 610 back into the shops.
I really hope you enjoyed watching our day out on the Texas State Railroad. As I've said countless times, it really never gets old for us, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for this railroad. Again, huge thanks to the crews for allowing us to take a look at the shops and some of the behind the scenes. TSR is in good hands, and it's really good to see. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you somewhere alongside the rails.